of what would happen if the implied consent law is uh, passed? What power that does give law enforcement officers? Well, the implied consent law uh, would say in, in effect that when you uh, sign your application for your driver's license that you agree to take a chemical test for intoxication if you are stopped uh, and suspected of being under the influence. Uh, I might add that uh, you would uh, no doubt be stopped for a traffic violation and then uh, it would, if the officer discovered that you had the odor of an alcoholic beverage on your breath, for example, he would request that you take a chemical test. You could refuse, but if this law uh, uh, becomes effective, is passed, when you do refuse, then your license would automatically be suspended by the Commissioner of the Bureau of Motor Vehicles for six months in one law and for one year in the other. There are two bills actually uh, being considered at this time. Now, there is no mandatory uh, prerequisite now. Uh, if you're stopped, you can refuse without any penalty, right? Yes, there is no penalty for refusing now. Is uh, Do you think this would help uh, cut down on traffic accidents? To, to what extent do you think that could cut down on our traffic accidents? Well, our statistics have shown that uh, in 62 percent of the fatal accidents in a thousand in-depth uh, fatal accident study that we made, 62 percent were caused by either directly or uh, were at least contributed to by a drinking driver. So you might say that there's a good possibility we could cut down 62% of our fatal accidents if we had